I think as you get into adulthood, it's something that we forget to play or we, we think it's not as cool or okay to play. Um, and I think for me that's something I'm almost learning again at the moment, that in fact to have a happy, fulfilled life, whether you're 20, 50, 100, playing is really important for health and happiness. Hey, I'm Martin Sibley, I'm a blogger, an entrepreneur, and I love adventure and accessible travel. So I think for me, Eureka is amazing in that they've thought of everything prior to the visit. Of course, everything on the day is very well adapted and included. But to be able to look on the website, it's full of accessibility information. So whatever the person's disability is, it will help them to prepare before going off. So we were making a series of films about accessible tourism. Um, so the reason for coming up was to to look at the kind of the facilities, um, but also really the, the kind of getting stuck into the fun and the real benefit of the museum to the public and the fact it's just so amazing for disabled people there. The fact that you can get everywhere with a wheelchair and lots of uh, signage that is useful and helpful for all different types of disabilities. Um, but I think that the values and the principles that underlie just come through when all the through the walls and the exhibitions and the people there. And I always remember the tagline about playing to learn and learn to play, that, that whole ethos that underlies what I believe Eureka to be. It's really important that disabled people are able to participate as a wider community.